What's up, y'all? We back at it. We back on the show. We're on Diamond Dynasty. We're doing kind of a relaxed video today. We're just going to open some packs. We got 50 packs here. We got one chase pack. Hopefully, we can get another one out of the 50 packs here. Looking to pull as many diamonds as possible. You know, that's where everyone on my team outside of Bob Gibson and Mike Trout have came from. Uh, I have packed almost my entire team so far. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell him. Anyone over like 25 stub, or anyone like double digit stub, I usually go ahead and sell. Anyone that's uh, single digit, I usually save for uh, like if you got a exchanges and stuff for uh, programs. Man, struggling to think of stuff there for a second. But yeah, we've packed pretty much our entire team outside of like a couple of players, and that's usually how how it goes. And go ahead and sell Don Carlo. Hopefully he can get going this year. Oh, I can't even view the stats now. But hopefully we can pull you know a few more diamonds here. <laughs> Wouldn't mind pulling Mike Trout and uh, making some stubs. Charlie Marte, good little pull there. He's picking it up. He had an all right start to the season, but it's definitely getting better as the season goes along. And just we're looking to make some stubs back here. So hopefully we can get some, some big pulls. And Anderson, he just had a good start the other day. You know, looking to get as many new cards as possible, start filling out some uh, sets and whatnot. And we got a lot of Nick Prados. Got five of them. But we're going to go through most of these pretty quickly. Say, especially if we're not really pulling anything. Go ahead and sell Rudnid. I thought that was a good pickup by the Orioles. Good, you know, good bag, good reclamation project. Haven't really kept up with the Orioles because, you know, they're the Orioles. Patrick Corbin is dog water. He has been for the last couple years ever since he went to the Nationals. I knew he would. He's not that good. I wish the White Sox would have traded for Mickey Moniak, not Adam Hazley. You know, the White Sox made two trades for outfielders. And it was team said, okay, we just pulled Reed Detmers. He's supercharged right now. We already have him. I'm going to go ahead and sell him. He just threw a no-hitter last night, so that's pretty cool. I should have checked his stats out before I did that. Oh, look at that. We sold three people out of this pack and made, like, 75 stubs. But Reed Detmers threw a no-hitter last night, so that was pretty cool. I think he's the youngest. I think he's the youngest ever to do it. I would definitely have to look. I wasn't prepared to uh, talk about that. But go ahead and sell him. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool to see. You know, I think he got drafted. Oh, look, there's Craig Kimball, the other White Sox draft pick, what I was talking about before I saw Reed Detmers. But was hoping we'd trade for Cody Bellinger, not A.J. Pollock. I would have liked to have got a lefty bat in the outfield. And, you know, a good defender. A.J. Pollock is not a good defender. And he's a righty. We have a lot of righties. And it's looking like maybe we should have made Kimbrel the closer, let him do what he does, and made Liam Hendricks the setup, man, because he has had a lot of bad games so far this year. You know, he had a good stretch, and then he imploded again. You know, when you're supposed to be a top-tier closer, you can't really have that many, especially at the start of the season. Like, I understand the short spring training, but, man, Eloy, I hope he gets healthy soon. Uh, I think he tore his hamstring, but from reports, this is quote-unquote from reports, he is progressing faster than what was originally thought it might be reports from him or someone in his, you know, little group, but... I would love to see him back. White Sox haven't been at full health in like a few years. You know, there's always a main guy hurt. But hopefully we can get somebody back. 
We have not pulled a single diamond yet, and we've only pulled one gold. There's Braves Ledge and Dansby Swanson. But, uh... Yeah, the White Sox, you know, we need to make a move for a second baseman. I think the outfield were fine between Eloy, Luis, even A.J. Pollock. Uh, Gavin Sheets has been hitting pretty well here recently. Andrew Vaughn's a good option. Uh, Yoan came back, so he's our third baseman. There's our second gold, Austin Riley. Uh, he, I'm waiting for him to, you know, really start kicking it up a notch this year. But second base is our one big hole. And, you know, we really need to, you know, do something to, you know, clear that up. There's a silver. I think that's only our second silver, too. We have not had good luck so far. There we go. Make some stubs back on that jersey. Or the uniform. If we don't get something good here, we're going to back out and come back in. All right, there we go. First diamond. Let's we'll see who it is. Come on, give me, give me the blue. It is the purple. Ronald Acuna, please. Ronald Acuna. Let's go. That's Ozzy Albies. We already have Ozzy Albies. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen the high socks and an arm sleeve, and I got excited. So we are going to sell him for 3,700. And we will do that after we get done here because there's obviously matching orders found on a diamond. Let's go back to back diamonds. Alright, I'll take that. I'm going to wait and see if he does go up to diamond. I don't know if he's playing up or it's the inside edge. I think it's the inside edge. But I think they're going to have another roster update in a few days. So I'm going to wait and see if he goes up to Diamond. Sell him. Okay. Got a silver. Go ahead and sell Shamanai. He got rocked the other night. I forget who they played, but he did not have a good night. I think that was a phenomenal pickup by the Padres. And now they just have an overwhelming amount of starting pitching. Pete Cosman still plays baseball. But they've got Clevenger came back. Mackenzie Gore got called up. He's been phenomenal. You know, they got you Darvish, Sean Manaya. Now they'll have Blake Snell healthy soon. Brian Reynolds is going to be sold. But they have a ridiculous amount of starting pitchers. I think right now they're even going with like a six man rotation. And that's another guy who can make some starts for him, Ryan Weathers. I think they got Denilson Lamette like in the bullpen. Unless he's hurt. I don't know, I haven't seen too many Padres games this year. I haven't seen too many good pulls out of these packs either. I'll go through one more. Hey, Royce Lewis, he just made his uh, debut a couple of days ago. I know he got some hits already. I wish I would have watched his uh, debut game. But, as one usually is, I was busy. So I did not get to catch it. But I plan on catching one of his games here before too long. They called him up. They thought Carlos Correa was going to be out with a broken finger. Ended up not being broken. So, whenever he comes back, Royce Lewis is just going to have to rake so he can keep a you know starting spot. And last pack, and we're going to go, we're going to back out, get some better luck, hopefully. Yeah, we're just not getting it. Why is Jacob Barnes 200 stubs? I'll take it, though, I guess. And we'll sell that. We're going to back out, go back to open packs. Let's see if we can get some luck this time. Well, no, we will sell him. Sam Huff. Definitely thought Sam Huff was going to be better than what he has been so far in his career. I still think he has an opportunity to uh, improve. So, you know, hopefully he can do something. We still aren't pulling anything. We will take these stubs for Chris Paddock, though. Go ahead and sell that for the extra stub. Can we 
get something out of this one. Alright, we got a gold. We got Eduardo Escobar. We already have him. We're gonna go ahead and sell him. So we made a few hundred stubs there. Make another 25 there. I'd like to see a diamond. Perhaps one of the expensive ones. So we're more just sell, uh, seeing people that we already have or not even that good players. We can't pull anybody. This is depressing. Come on, give me somebody. The only diamond we pulled was someone we already had. At least give me a new diamond. Man, we just really haven't pulled anything. This is probably one of the worst 50, 50 boxes I've had. Yeah, we're just not pulling anything. I would at least like one more diamond before we're out of, out of this. Go ahead and sell Emilio Pagan. I mean, we're making a decent amount of stubs back, but not enough to, uh, you know, not enough to make us happy here. I mean, if we sold everyone that's been a dupe, we'd probably make I mean, a little bit more. We're going to back out again. We'll see if we can get some luck. Because we haven't gotten anything. We got two silvers out of a pack. Oh, there's Denison Lamette, like I was just talking about. Yeah, they moved him to the bullpen. Walter Nevich. Not pitch anymore. Sheldon Noose. Hey, Evan Longoria. Alright, nine packs left before the chase pack. Let's see if we can pull anything. Kessinura. Another top prospect that can't hit the ball. Uh, you know, you'd like to see something. Oh, look, another bronze. Oh, cool, Luis Essa. This is not Red Franchise. I don't want to see you right now. Go ahead and get that extra stub out of target field. Now let's target a diamond player. Oh, we got another bronze. And it's Jed Larry. Sell him. Kevin Pablo. Never heard of you. Man, we are uh, struggling. We are driving the struggle bus. Hmm. We got five packs. Let's get at least one diamond. Please. I'm tired of seeing commons and silvers. I've only seen like two or three golds. Man, usually I get at least like two or three diamonds. This is preposterous to say the least. I guess I just picked the worst time to open packs. Oh, we didn't have Yanni Diaz. Oh boy, we got a new silver. Oh, we got Devin Williams. At least we'll make some stubs back there. I think we got like one pack left. Come on, give me a diamond in the last pack. Hmm. Steven Kwan. Ooh, his contact has went down a lot since the start of the year. Or at least his vision too. I mean, he had like a ridiculous streak to like didn't swing and miss for like however many at bats. I don't know. It was crazy. All right, we have the chase pack. The featured player is 97 overall, Carlos Delgado. The pack odds. It's a one. In, you have a guaranteed 80 plus. It is a one in two chance that you get an 85 plus and a 1 in 3 chance that you get a 90 plus out of set 1 of chase packs is where I pulled rookie of the year Albert Pujols let's see if I can pull something worth it oh ho, ho, boy I pulled another gold that that stings that definitely hurts 
Julio Urias. At least there's a new gold. So we don't make any new additions. We'll go ahead and I'll even show you. I mean, Mike Trout's back up to 400,000 almost. You know, so it would have been cool to pull him. Or, you know, Shohei or DeGrom. That's why I was excited to pull Ronald because he's expensive. The wool filter. We'll go Braves. There we go. And where's Ozzy Albies at? Oh boy, he's not even 3,700 anymore. He's 3,200. So we'll sell him 3,200. I think we're back to where we were on Stubbs from a few days ago. Don't have Matt Olson. He would have even been cool. Uh, one of my buddies just pulled Walker Bueller, so at least somebody's pulling something. You know, happy to see that. You know, we did get Austin Riley, so we got another Brave at least. But yeah, I would have liked, if it was going to be a Brave, to at least be Matt Olson. Definitely would have loved Ronald Acuna, though. I definitely think they need to up Pack Oz. Can you see Pack Oz from here? No, you can. It, it shows square, but not. It shows pack, you know, pack offs for the headliners. I don't really care about that. You know, you can't see pack odds. It shows you pack odds. Oh, okay. I guess it. Oh, we backed out. I guess technically it's the same for this. One in three just to get a 75 plus. One in ten to get an 80 plus, and to pull any diamond, 85 to I think Mike dropped to 97. I think he's. A th highest player currently is 1 in 50 so we did that in this we got one diamond in 50 packs you know not two not three one and I think we pulled like four golds so maybe five maybe I'm not remembering right but yeah that's literally the odds that we got in in this box. So that's pretty rough. Let's see what this is. He's one goal to better player. You know what? Might as well. We might get Cattell Marte. I was guaranteed to get the uniform. So I mean, at least there's something. Go ahead and do that, see if we can. What's the odds here? One and three to get a diamond, guaranteed a gold plus. Alright. Let's pick a jersey. Hmm. We'll go we'll go with the Toronto. I like today blues. Oh, that's rough. We got three golds. We got Michael Brantley already. Could go ahead and get Lance Lynn, Noah Syndergaard. He throws very hard. Probably not going to use anybody, so I'm just going to see who's the most expensive. 647, 1300. Uh, we'll go ahead and get Lance Lynn then. So, not a very good pack opening. Just wasted 25,000 on someone I could have got for 1,000. So, that kind of sucks. But, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.